Hello everybody, welcome to SciSparks. My name is Jordan with the McWayan Science Center, and in today's episode, we are going to be experimenting with some super cool science. So cool, in fact, that it comes in at around negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, there's only one thing that could mean. That means we're going to be using liquid nitrogen. Let's check it out. Nitrogen is a gas that makes up around 78% of the air we breathe. However, when we start to cool it down to about negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit, it starts to condense into a liquid. However, when it gets exposed to room temperature air, it starts to boil back into a gas. What can we do with something this cold? Well, as it turns out, quite a lot. But let's start with the obvious, freezing some things solid. Now to start things off, I've got a tasty treat for you. This fluffy marshmallow. Now, as you may know, these are pretty squishy. However, let's submerge it in liquid nitrogen and see what happens. It's now frozen solid. Now we should just be able to add a slight bit of pressure using my super advanced scientific tool. Let's see what happens. And voila, it shatters. Let's try a balloon now. Now this balloon is filled up with air, just like any other balloon. But what happens if we dip it in the liquid nitrogen? It seems like all of the air has left our balloon and it's completely flat. But let's add a little more heat to it. And it's back to normal. But why do these strange things happen when we dip our objects in the liquid nitrogen? To keep it simple, everything is vibrating. Even solid objects like our marshmallows are made up of tiny molecules that are moving back and forth really fast. And as they're moving, they want to spread out and get far away from each other. However, when we cool them down with a liquid nitrogen, they start to slow down. And as they slow down, they're allowed to get closer and closer together. That's why the marshmallow shattered so easily. And also the reason behind the balloon deflating entirely. Now, throughout our past few demos, you may have noticed a bit of fog coming off the top of the liquid nitrogen. This is actually water vapor that is condensed over the supercooled liquid. But what would happen if we added some water of our own? Well, let's see what happens. In three, two, one. Thank you for watching today's episode of Size Sparks. If you liked what you saw here, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the latest videos, be sure to, do, to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time. Stay frosty. That was cold.